So John Cola with GrowingYourGreens.com. Today I have another exciting, yes, gardening episode for you guys. And this is going to be a very special one at that. So what we're going to talk a day today about is what many of you guys may believe in and many of you guys may think is hogwash. But you know, all I ask you to do is have an open mind. You know, we have a special guest today that's going to talk about chemtrails and all this kind of stuff. And you know, whether you think this is valid or not, you know, if you don't think it's valid, hey, just turn this off now, do yourself a favor, save yourself some time. If you think it is valid or are concerned or want to learn more, I encourage you to watch this video all the way through because this is going to be one really educational video. I myself, I've seen planes in the sky and leaving stuff and is that a chemtrail? I have no idea. But I'm open to learning more about this information so that at least I could make qualified and intelligent decisions on what I want to do in my life and my garden. And I want you guys to be watching this video with an open mind as well. So uh, Ken, why don't you tell us how long you have been gardening? Oh, uh, gosh, at least 20 years. It's been a long, long time. And uh, I sprout and garden, and uh, because of my unusual background in, in engineering and natural health and medicine, uh, I do things with growing, particularly growing nutrient-dense foods that uh, nobody else is doing. All right, Ken. So tell us more about these chemtrails or things that are, you know, these planes flying up, you know, you know in, I don't know, about a minute. Tell us what these are. Okay. Well, in a nutshell, what chemtrails are are simply, uh, they are trails that come out of jets that don't dissipate from condensation. They have heavy metals in them, particularly aluminum, barium, and strontium. And uh, for those who may think that it's uh, just a conspiracy theory, um, you can go onto YouTube and you can search for David Keith Geoengineering, and you can see Harvard professor, geoengineer David Keith, and other scientists uh, at conventions talking about geoengineering using these metals. So. It's not a secret. They're admitting to dumping 10 to 20 million metric tons of these metals into the skies globally every year. Um, and there also there are two really good movies you can see with a lot of facts and showing that this is not a conspiracy theory. Um, there's what in the world are they spraying and why in the world are they spraying. And those are both on YouTube. They're full-length feature movies and they're free on YouTube. So you can watch those and you can see this is not a conspiracy. It's, it's scientific fact, and it's being done for a lot of different purposes. It's being done uh, partially to help sell genetically engineered crops because Monsanto has come out with patents on crops that can withstand these heavy metals in the soils. And uh, of course, these heavy metals deplete and diminish and kill off organic crops, and not just crops, but also wild plants. Um, uh, so. That's part of the agenda. There's also military agendas, political agendas, and other agendas. Of course, always pro a profit agenda as well. So you can look into those and see that it's not a conspiracy. I see stuff spraying in the sky. I still don't know if it's conspiracy or not, but you know what? Once again, I want to encourage you guys to listen with an open mind. So Ken, you know, you say you have a solution. You spoke at this event that I'm at today about how to prevent the chemtrails from getting on your food. And you know, that's what I want you guys, you to share with my viewers right now. So. You know, how can we as gardeners protect our food? Do we need to like build a greenhouse and hoop house over there, anything? And is that going to really help us? Or what other solutions can you provide with us? Well, greenhouses, us? greenhouses are one way. Um, uh, and I have developed a device that will clear them out of the sky. It basically it creates a vortex of energy that will pull this stuff into space. And uh, you can go online and you can see devices like this. If you go to Google or YouTube and search on Cloud Buster or Chemtrail Buster, you can see homemade devices that people make, and they have instructions and, and how to make these. And uh, so you can make your own, or you can uh, occasionally you can find people that will sell these devices. But you know, basically, you use this this energy device to create a vortex that will pull the stuff into space. There's also a Russian physicist named Alexander Golod, G-O-L-O-D, which you can search on YouTube and other places, and you can see he is a physicist who worked for the Russian government who. Uh, built very large pyramids and was doing the same thing, neutralizing radiation and pulling junk out of the skies and other effects. Uh, so, uh, so you can also put microbes on your property, on your land, on your crops. Uh, there's something called effective microorganisms that you can mix with water and spray on your crops and those will break down toxins into non-toxic elements and break them down into the soil. So you can do that as well. And then of course, uh, if you get this stuff into your body, there are natural chelators like zeolites or algaes or chlorophyll or brown seaweed extracts and things like that that can pull these heavy metals and toxins out of the body. Wow, wow. So tell us more about this device you said because there's some other ways we could do but this device sounds really interesting to me. It's like something you could make for a couple hundred bucks and you know 
uh, once again, you know, this device, you know, I'm a skeptical person at heart and I wouldn't put this out to you guys, you know, to say, oh, you know, I totally believe in this. I'm letting you guys know that I don't know about this stuff. And that's why I'm having him on my show today to share this important information with you. You know, if one of you guys want to make one of these devices for me and send it to me, great, I'll use it and we'll see what the heck happens. So you're telling me if I make this device, I see chemtrails like that thing in the sky and I have your device, it'll dissipate that trail? Mm -hmm. or, or not just mine, but you can make your own. Uh, like I say, if you go to YouTube and you search on Chem Buster or Chemtrail Buster or Cloud Buster, you will see people showing how to make these devices. And basically what it is, is a combination of crystals and metal powders or shavings in resin, like fiberglass resin. And crystals have superconducting uh, elements in them that when they are squeezed, they will produce what are called scalar fields. And it's those scalar waves coming off the scalar fields that will go up into the sky and clear these things. And so you can you know, just look at the, the videos on YouTube on how to make these things and make your own with uh, you know, a few, few simple things. You can get at Home Depot and off of eBay and some stuff you can even get for free. And uh, you know, try it out, play with it, make your own devices, stick them outside and see what happens. Wow, that's really interesting. You know, I know a lot of you guys right now are skeptical. And before you thumbs down me for having this video, because once again, I'm just trying to let you guys know what's out there. You know, I wear this thing right here. It's actually called the Q-Link. And many of you guys may think this is hogwash. I mean, here's my take on this. This is a Q-Link, and it's supposed to basically enhance my body's frequency, because once again, we're all about frequencies. Our bodies are frequency. We're resonating frequency. Plants resonate our frequency. And this one basically enhances my body's frequency to protect it from outside energies. Now, whether you believe this thing and it works or not, I have, I mean, I've done Carillion photography where I've done Carillion photography before I started wearing this thing and after. And afterwards, my Carillion photography was much stronger than before wearing this. So this is some evidence, plus I feel different when wearing it. So does that mean this thing has some magical powers or does something? I mean, I don't know, just the fact of me wearing it and thinking it's working, that's worth a hundred bucks for me because if it makes me more effective to be able to post another video for you guys and have the energy to do all my work in the day and then do extra work and garden and all this stuff too is totally worth it. So I would encourage you guys to maybe even look into this device, making one yourself. I mean, the worst thing that's going to happen, worst thing, right? You're going to be out a couple hundred bucks or less or less. And the best thing that's going to happen, it's going to really work. And I don't think it's going to hurt anything. So I, once again, you know, in our society we live in, it's unfortunate many people live with blinders on in a box. I want you guys to open up that box and see, you know, new possibilities. And whether these things are true or not, you don't have to believe it, you know, but just try it. Be open. Have an open mind and see what the heck happens. So, Ken, besides this device you could make, you know, what are some other proven methods like the essential microorganisms? What are, I mean, a lot of my viewers have heard about that, but can you go into more detail about that? Because that's something that I definitely would use and do believe in besides the, you know, anti-radiation effects, I know it's really good for the soil and to build stronger and healthier plants, which I'm all into. Mm -hmm. Well, any kind of parasite, fungus, mold, microbe, uh, they are nature's garbage collectors and they break toxins down into non-toxic elements. So growing mushrooms and fungi in your yard, for example, will send out roots throughout the soil called mycelium that will secrete um, chemicals that will break these toxins down. Um, you can do things like you can make mushroom compost and, and spread it on your property and it will, it will uh, help break these things down. Uh, nurturing the soil um, to bring in earthworms and um, microbes and, and building the soil up and keeping a living ecosystem in your soil, that will break these toxins down. And so on your property, that's you know, what you can do. And like I said, you can spray on your plants, you can spray these microbe mixtures. Um, also using zeolites on your property. You, mm. can, you can buy zeolites inexpensively and spread them on your property and those will bind up yep. these heavy metals as well. Yeah, you know, absolutely. So. I have used zeolites in the past and I encourage you guys to use it besides pulling up the toxins that you know, may make your plants more efficient actually. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, so those are things you can do with your garden and your yard and then you know, if, you, if you want to um, clean your produce once you get it inside. You know, I, I use Miracle 2 soap, which is very effective for cleaning off. You can also use these ozonating cleaners where you fill a sink with water and you put an ozonator in there and that will knock a lot of the stuff off. Um, so those are good. And then, like I say, always, because this stuff is in our air, not just 
not just you know heavy metals from chemtrails, but look at all of the pollution that we know about that's floating in the air. About 30% of the mercury that people get in their bodies is coming from breathing in the air. So you've got to be chelating this stuff out on a daily basis, which means you need to be taking supplements to pull this stuff out on a daily basis. Wow, wow. I mean, I know this is earth shattering for many of you guys, because many of you guys may have not heard any of this information before, but I you know, want to reiterate to have an open mind about this kind of stuff. Another thing I want to really touch on, a fact, is building your soil and the soil microbes in here. You know, although the chemtrails and all this stuff is not natural, you know, the plants have had to deal with heavy metals in the soil, the radiation from the sun for millennia, and they've built special tolerances and special properties to do just that. So like the seaweeds, you know, are, are really good at effectively pulling out some of these toxins. So even if you don't believe in all this hocus pocus stuff, Use some seaweeds, not only because they're going to pull toxins out, but because they're also really good fertilizers for your garden. So that's what I recommend you guys do is build up the microorganisms because, you know what, in nature things work fine. It's only when humans get involved and start spreading extra crap that we don't need in our gardens and soils like Ken, you know, is suggesting today. So, Ken, any last uh, words of wisdom for growing uh, nutrient-dense foods like you said you have been doing for the past 20 years that my viewers may not be aware about? Yeah, there's a lot of things you can do to grow much denser nutrient food than what we've been conventionally taught. Uh, one thing is there's a product called Sea Crop. Uh, there's another one called Ocean Solutions that are sea mineral extracts that are very high in minerals and nutrients. And you water them down and you water your plants with them. You can foliar feed them if you're sprouting. In particular, sprouts don't have enough time to uptake nutrients through the soil much. So you can foliar feed and spray it on the leaves and they will absorb it. Um, also, these uh, effective microorganisms, you can throw in mineral powders and ocean uh, minerals and things like that into a ferment and make your own plant foods and feed them at the roots and feed them foliar and you'll get much higher nutrient levels in the plants as well. And, you know, as far as um, understanding whether or not this stuff is legit or not, there's a really simple way to know if anything is legit for you uh, as far as your health goes is just get good old fashioned lab tests of your body and see what effects are showing up before and after with these things and you can see you know whether or not this stuff is really having an effect on you it's like these these subtle energy devices that I make they will do things like unclump red blood cells and have very obvious biological effects that you can measure so you don't have to take anybody's word for it get yourself tested wow definitely wise words I want to encourage you guys you know to Always build your soil and you know he mentioned some sea mineral products. I recommend the product C90 and if you check my past videos I have a way you guys could buy 10 pounds of it that once you dilute it will feed literally two acres for like $25 delivered anywhere in the United States So be sure to check my past videos where I share how to also get things like rock dust and make your own compost teas for one low price you know, delivered anywhere because some of these products can be very hard to find. All right, so Ken, uh, I have one last question for you. How can somebody learn more about your work and get a hold of you if they want to contact you more with questions? Okay, well, my main website is freshandalive.com and you can contact me through there. My blog, if you want to see more information about this kind of stuff and other very cutting edge stuff, is my blog, beyondrawfood.com. And I'm on Facebook as well. Um, probably Facebook is the easiest way to get a hold of me um, or a email. So those, those venues are the best. All right, Ken, so I appreciate you sharing the time with me and my viewers today to educate us on what may be going on. Once again, you guys, I want you guys to have the open mind. Thumbs up this video because I want you guys to just you know, know that I want to bring you guys the latest stuff in gardening that you probably will not find on any other garden channel. Whether you believe it or not, the one thing I want to reiterate is, you know, you want to build your soil, whether it's for the nutrient density of the foods or whether because when you have nutrient dense soil, it's going to be more resilient to some of these outside forces. And if you do want to build one of those devices he's talking about, hey, if one of my viewers would send it to me, that'd be wonderful. I'd start using it and we'll see if it makes a difference. I mean, I don't think it can hurt. So once again, have an open mind. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Once again, my name is John Kohler with GrowingYourGreens.com. We'll see you next time. And remember, keep on growing.